Well, a group of York County women plan to make a statement against the looming abortion ban in South Carolina, and they plan to showcase a book giving people a new way to think about abortion. Well, our South Carolina Bureau Chief Shakira Speaks joins us now with this exclusive story. And Shakira, what is this book about? Brian, it's about you, essentially men's reproductive systems. It's 144 pages about men's fertility, male contraceptives, and how pregnancies can be prevented through men first. A New York Times bestseller is making its way across the nation. I love that the title, you don't actually have to read the book, right, to know what it's about. With the significant message, ejaculate responsibly, a whole new way to think about abortion. With South Carolina holding its breath for a possible six-week abortion ban, activist Mallory Dittmer says she and hundreds of other women still plan to fight the legislation. Just felt called to do something watching the debate happen yesterday, and I posted on my Instagram and just asked, you know, who else thinks that we should get some of these books in the hands of our legislators. Dittmer says the response was incredible. She took in over $1,200 in donations within a day to purchase the book from Amazon. And really um, are going to very thoughtfully and sincerely um, get them to our legislators to help them maybe have one of those aha moments. Author Gabrielle Blair says the title of the book was meant just for that. Ultimately, it's also like a declaration, like what it's, it sums up everything. I'm asking men to ejaculate responsibly. And if they do, it solves a whole host of problems. Blair says the book came as a result of a 2018 Twitter thread where she shared her thoughts during the Brett Kavanaugh Supreme Court confirmation hearings. One tweet says, if you want to stop abortion, you need to prevent unwanted pregnancies. And men are 100% responsible for unwanted pregnancies. A few years later, Blair published the book hoping to shift the conversation. My book does not absolve women of their responsibility. It just reminds men of theirs. So despite 1,000 plus amendments from South Carolina Democrats, House GOP members largely pushed through the, their version of the proposed six-week abortion ban with few exceptions. The bill now heads to the Senate to approve any amendments the House passed.